G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and today in this video we're going to take a look at vMix outputs and how you can use the full screen function. There are a lot of different ways that you can output video from vMix and each have a different method and purpose. Today we're going to look at how you can output video from your graphics card and take a quick look at the different ways that you can use this content. For vMix we recommend the use of a dedicated GPU. As vMix is heavily optimized to use your graphics card instead of overworking your CPU. The great thing about modern graphics cards is that they have multiple display outputs, which can be utilized for outputting video with vMix. You can use the HDMI, display ports, DVI, or VGA ports to send video. So as you can see with this graphics card here, I've got multiple outputs that I can send video from. Now, usually when you're setting up a PC, if you're sending up two monitors, you'll send out video through these ports to those monitors. And you can do that with vMix as well, but you can also send out video by these ports to other things as well, which we'll cover a bit later on. When doing a live video production, you'll usually wanna have a screen for your vMix interface, like this here, so that you can manage your switching and your settings. But you might also want a second or third screen for monitoring your program or your multi-view, uh, like this guy here. You might even want to use the video output from your graphics card to show your content on a big screen with iMag, input into another production by using a capture card, or perhaps sending your video to another streaming or encoding box. In vMix, we call the video output from your GPU the full screen output. In order to set up the full screen output with your GPU, you'll need to make sure that you've correctly set up your TV, monitor, or whatever device you have connected to the computer. Now you can do this by right clicking the desktop and going to the display settings quickly do that now. So if I right click here and go to display settings, and you'll see that I now have two monitors set up here. I've got two screens ready to go. Now we go down a bit in the multiple display sections, you will have to make sure that you've got multiple displays, extend these displays selected. So I'll link a Microsoft guide in the description if you're having trouble setting up multiple displays. Once your GPU displays are recognized by Windows, you'll need to go into the settings of vMix and go to the display section. That's where you'll be able to set up the full screen. So I'm just gonna go there now. So if we go to settings, we go to display, which is up the top here. Now you'll see a full screen section here with display one and display two. Those are the two full screen options that you can use. Now, if you've got vMix 4K or Pro, you'll see full screen display one and two here. If you've got vMix um, HD or lower, you'll only see full screen display one. So in order to set up the full screen display, I just need to select the option here. So I'm going to select set up full screen display one. And then I need to choose what display I want that to show on. So from the drop down menu, I need to select that. So I'm going to select display two, which is my monitor behind me. Now underneath that, you've got a position option. So by default, the full screen option in vMix is, you guessed it, going to be full screen. So if you want to change the size and position of the full screen, you can tick this box here and then set it up. The first two boxes refer to the coordinates of the location. So if I set it to zero, zero, it's going to be in the top corner. And then the last two boxes refer to the size. So for example, if I set this to 1280 by 720, if I get this right, uh, like so. If I've got a bigger monitor, say a HD or a 4K monitor, it's going to be inset because it's smaller than the overall resolution of the monitor. So this is what this would look like on a 4K screen. However, I don't want to use this, so I'm going to change this back to zero and unselect the position. Underneath that, you can make some more cha settings changes. So I can choose to hide the cursor on the full screen. Uh, I can choose to always have the full screen on top and I can also choose to minimize it. So when I minimize vMix, it's going to minimize the full screen. So you can tick that if you want that option. So as a quick recap, uh, I've got my full screen display one set up. It's going to be using the display two, which is this guy here. Um, the position is going to be full screen and I'm going to hide the cursor. And then I'm going to click OK. OK, so in order to use the full screen, all you need to do is press the full screen button up the top here and it will turn green. Press it again to turn it off. Now you can also choose what's being displayed by selecting this drop down menu here. I can choose um, preview, program, multi view, like so, or I can choose a particular input. So let's say I wanted to display the Sydney video behind me. I can do that by selecting that input. Now you can also change these settings by going to the outputs and selecting it in this full screen section right here. 
So if I wanted a second display, if I had a, another one that I wanted to show a, another full screen output on, I would just click display two here and go through the same settings again. So instead of just clicking this full screen button up the top here as well to turn on and off, I can also set up a shortcut as well. So I'm gonna just go to the shortcut section, I'm gonna go to add, I'm just gonna use the key A, then I'm gonna to go to function and then output. So this subsection here will show you the ability to turn on and off the full screen, which is the top one, which is a toggle. And I can also set it to specifically go full screen on and full screen off with a key. So I'm just going to set that up now. So I've got A, when I press the A key, it's going to turn on and off the full screen. So we'll go, okay, okay. So now when I grab my keyboard here, I can press the A key to turn on and turn off that full screen. So that's how you can set up the full screen in vMix to send out video via your GPU. Now keep in mind that using the output from your GPU will give you the lowest latency video output from vMix. However, as vMix is software, there's going to be some introduced latency as there's always a certain amount of video processing that needs to be done. For iMag, using the graphics card would be the best method for using vMix for that. However, if you are going to need the lowest possible latency, you'd be best off using a direct hardware solution. Now, if you do have any questions about vMix or using the full screen output, drop us an email via the support page on vMix.com. It's really hard answering technical questions on YouTube without knowing your setup and your situation. If you do leave a technical question, we'll probably just reply with, please send us an email so that we can take a look at your production setup. Thanks a bunch. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.